Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Monday. It is December the 26th. It is Boxing Day all over Canada. National Candy Cane Day. National Thank You Note Day. Good day to send a thank you note. And National Winers Day, which for some of us is every day. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not pointing at you, Heidi. No, no, no. She's I not am really. not a whiner. No, she's really not. She does not whine. She gets even. So. I do. I am hey, not a person you want to be on the in, bad side In addition of. to all of that, it is a movie star Monday, and I'm so excited to visit with this young lady, McKenna Grace. Now, oh, yeah. she's been in several movies, and, and uh, most recently she was in uh, a movie called Ghostbusters Afterlife. Mm-hmm. In addition to being one of the stars of that movie, she also is a singer- And she had one of the songs on the soundtrack as well. And she is just a really cool young lady. She's got a song that she put out for a really, really good cause. Uh, We're going to be chatting about that and all kinds of fun stuff coming up in a bit. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. As we close the books on 2022, Uber Eats released their cravings report, a snapshot of the most popular, unusual, and unique delivery requests they got over the last year. Uh, Some of the highlights... In almost 50 states, the most frequent special instruction on food orders is what? Something I would say. No onions. Correct. We all dislike onions, except for you. (laughs) That is not true. Except for you onion likers out there. (laughs) What's wrong with you people? Other frequent instructions are no tomato, I also agree with, and extra sauce. By golly, put me down for all of us. (laughs) A request for ranch dressing has dramatically dwindled in recent years, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Because that was like climbing for the longest time. Ranch was going up and up and up and up. Now people are like, eh, I'm all ranched out. (laughs) Amid this year's sober curious movement, there was a big spike in requests for non-alcoholic beverages. 300% increase in orders of zero-proof beers, wines, and spirits. Now when we actually talk about the other side of that, the most popular food and alcohol pairings, steak and margaritas. Oh. And pizza and White Claw. So there you go. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such. Margaritas and steak. That's just know. sacrilegious. Just sounds interesting. It's all brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, one five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Hi, did you know the first Lego store is now open in Israel? They opened earlier this year. Okay. And they're the home to the world's largest Lego menorah. They built this okay. with 136,000 single bricks. It was on display at the uh, Lego store in Tel Aviv, and it's there until today. Uh, families and children. Uh, it was there for part of the Hanukkah Lego Festival. The menorah is 4.5 meters high, which is 15 feet, 4.4 meters wide. Uh, menorah is lit each day of Hanukkah, and that started Sunday and continues through December 26th. So that's, that's nice. pretty cool. I started the, the Sunday before that, I believe. So it wasn't just this recent Sunday. It was... Anyway, you know I mean. <laughs> we don't know everything, clearly, you can tell. But uh, now we know this. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. A lot of people have been saying his name wrong. Brendan Fraser, not Fraser. Fraser. Yeah, whole I time. I love him. People have been referring to him for a long time. And he sat down uh, for an actor-on-actor video of Variety with his old friend Airheads co-star Adam Sandler. After Sander, uh, Sandler accidentally mispronounced his name, the star of The Mummy cleared up the confusion, saying it rhymes with Razor, Brendan Fraser. It's not like that 
you know, TV guy Fraser Crane. It right. rhymes with Razor. Brendan Fraser. I have no idea. I've been yeah. saying it wrong the I know. whole time. A lot of people have. Uh, fans and industry types alike tend to pronounce his name Fraser instead of Fraser. Yep. They're going to be hearing his name a lot. His new movie, The Whale, continues to generate oh, buzz for award show season. So. I've not seen it. I, I I look forward to seeing it. I've heard really, really good things. I haven't things. seen it either, but I would really like yeah. to. We'll check it out. It's going to be good. Brendan Fraser is in it. We like Brendan Fraser. That's how you say I think life. everybody kind of does. I, I think, think that's so just too. one of those things that everybody can it. agree on. There we go. Big screen, little screen brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extra extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. bettercreditcards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. End of year bonuses are always welcome, but this company went above and beyond. Rupert Landscaping gave employee bonuses of $7,000 to $200,000 to all of their employers with a tenure of over 1 year as a way to thank them for the role they have played wow. in the company's growth and development. A total of 1,200 workers, too, by the way. That's a lot of people. Wow. So 1,200 workers received the enormous thank you presents, which added up to $28 million. That's a lot of dough, man. They clearly had a better year than yeah, uh, I was gonna say, we did here right at here. the station. <laughs> the nice thing is... I got a slice of pizza. Well, I got I most think of the slice. We got that fruitcake we were I talking got, about. The I other got day. most of the slice. <laughs> Heidi had half, and I had to split the other half, and she took all of my wow. pepperonis. But I got that. That is no, insane. They, Twenty-eight million dollars. Uh, CEO Craig Rupert said, "This bonus is money that is well deserved, and a way for us to acknowledge the value of our team's contributions and the essential <laughs> role that they will play in our company's future." Maryland-based company has 30 locations in nine states in the United States. And uh, again, bonuses alone of $28 million. Wow. So if you were one of their customers, would you go, do you think they were overcharging us? <laughs> I feel like I need to have a conversation with management. Yeah, wait, wait, you are management. What are you talking about? <laughs> I need to have a conversation with you. Uh, no, I think this is really, really cool. I love this story. And the funny thing is there are people online that are, that are being negative about this. I don't know how you can be negative about this. Yeah, why is that bad? Because they're going, well, it's not fair. Because some are getting 7000 some are getting 200000 How's okay. that fair? Uh, how long have you been Again, with the company? Exactly. And so how big of a role do you there play? There you go. See? And that's Heidi knows. She gets it. Heidi gets it. All right. Maybe we all get it now. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, the very talented McKenna Grace. We're going to talk about music, and we're going to talk about movies, and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. But McKenna, I remember watching a movie called Gifted, and there was this very talented young lady in that. And then recently, we watched Ghostbusters Afterlife, and that young lady, you, you've grown up so much. Holy cow, I didn't even know that was the same person. I have been crazy everybody i think that everybody still thinks that i am like so young and that i'm that age because yeah. that's like what everybody sees <laughs> well the thing that's really cool you did uh, amazing in both of those and i tanya and this big long list of movies but then in addition to being a phenomenal actress you're also an amazing singer and you've got a really cool song that you recently put out and for all the right reasons right uh, yeah <laughs> so much I, I mean yeah I, I did just put out a song called self dysmorphia uh, it, it's really personal but I put it out in hopes that maybe the people who listen to it can feel a little bit less alone if they relate to the song this is something that many people struggle with McKenna I'm really glad that you came up with a song that talks about it yeah I mean I think that that's why it's especially important to put it out there because 
And I think that it's important to know that somebody who does movies or music videos especially feels that way too. Um, because I think that on social media, it's very easy to see all of the happy and amazing aspects of someone's life. And that's what totally feeds into the self dysmorphia or to the Instagram depression of it all um, is that, you know, you only really see the happy parts of someone's life on social media. So um, I wrote this song about a year ago whenever I was in a pretty dark place. And now I'm finally starting to see the other side of that. And I was very apprehensive to release this song, but I did because I wanted people who felt this, feel the same way that I was feeling, feel a little less alone. <laughs> Lots I, of feeling. <laughs> I love that. And I love the fact that you're sharing that, you know, things aren't always perfect. Usually what gets posted are the things that are, you know, edited and perfect and they look great. But in real life, things aren't always perfect. I think it's important to see that. And I also think that it's important to talk about the fact that these feelings don't last forever, although they feel so permanent and like the world is ending at the time. Eventually you'll feel different and eventually you'll make it on the other side of it. And of course, these feelings will last forever in a sense that they'll come back at moments and you'll feel sad, you'll feel depressed, or you'll, or you'll hit your body for a little bit. But these feelings don't last forever, forever. And one of the things that I read here is that you struggled with scoliosis. I had to look that up. I didn't even know what that was. Is that something that's super common? Yeah, apparently so. It's, it's honestly been crazy since I've been posting about I had a very big surgery for it. I had to get a six level spine fusion and now I have wow. like rods in my back and 11 screws and I'm two inches taller. One of my hips is not higher than the other anymore. And it, it totally changed my life and my perspective on, on my life and on my body and on me. And it's changed. It's it made me for some, somehow I'm so much happier now too. Um, but yeah, apparently school is very, very common, but it was, it was hard. I was trying to Google stuff and look up things that I should know about the surgery. So now that I've gone through it and that I'm posting about it and seeing how many people also have scoliosis and are apprehensive about the surgery, I'm like, well, maybe I can talk about my experiences with it and help people yeah. feel a little bit less scared about the surgery. Absolutely. I love that. And I love the fact that, you know, this is something that you're putting out and letting folks, other people who are going through this as well, know that it's not that bad. And again, congratulations on all the really cool things that you've got going on in your life. Thank you so, so much. It's, it's been weird to start talking about my scoliosis and stuff because it's been such a prominent thing in my life for so long. And we've had a chance to watch you grow up on screen. Ghostbusters Afterlife recently came out, but that was actually filmed a little while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it came out um, last year. It's been, I think it's been like exactly a year since that film came out. That's so crazy. But yeah, it was shot in 2019 and did not come out for like two years afterwards, which was wild. I mean, pandemic <laughs> is doing crazy things. Well, I, I remember we had done an interview with Ernie Hudson because the movie was just getting ready to come out and then we had the pandemic and everything stopped. And then it was like a year or maybe two years later, we did another interview and he's like, it's coming out for real this time. I'm almost positive. So <laughs> I love that. Almost positive. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to visit McKenna. You have a wonderful day. Again, congratulations on all your success and thank you for standing up and, and talking about things that maybe are a little more difficult to talk about. But this new song, I think, is going to make a very positive difference in many, many lives. Thank you so, so much. Have a good one. Absolutely. Again, McKenna Grace and the new song is called Self Dysmorphia, and I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The movie It's a Wonderful Life was a flop until 1974 when the copyright expired and TV networks could air it for I free. I knew that. And then it became a yearly classic beloved movie. Uh, these are all leftovers, by the way. Uh, Will Ferrell, I'm sorry, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Will Ferrell consumed so much sugar while filming Alf, he actually became physically ill. Yeah, that's not good. I've read that. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In Slovakia, it's a tra tradition to keep Christmas carp in the family bathtub for a few days before they're eaten. Okay. What? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Although Gingerbread House dates back to the 1600s, the tradition became widespread in Germany after Hansel and Gretel was published in 1812. Uh. 
Ooh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Elf on a Shelf was inspired by the creator's own toy elf, Fizby, who they grew up in the 1970s. And the family would mess around with it, and uh, all of a sudden it became a thing. So oh. he created, he's like, hey, I'm going to make this happen for everybody. And our final leftover fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Paul McCartney earns about $400,000 every year from the song Wonderful Christmas Time, which, by the way, is regarded as his worst song. Imagine what he makes wow. with his best song. Yeah, really. <laughs> Several leftover fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Here's your question, Heidi. A survey says 36% plan to do this all day on Christmas Day. So yesterday, 36% of the people planned to do this all day. What was it? Um, eat. No. Stay in their pajamas. Well, of course. So That's a did, no-brainer. Did you get a chance to do it? If you did, kudos to you. Mint Mobile I question. didn't even know that there was any other option. No, there's some other Christmas options. Day. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com give yourself a little credit bettercreditcards.com now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com kevin Federline and jamie spears that's britney spears sister okay are writing a book about parenting huh Okay. okay. Britney Spears' ex-husband is writing a book on his experience of fatherhood pop star's estranged dad has agreed to help saying Oh, uh, Jamie Spears is the dad, not the sister. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I was going to say. I uh, think Jamie is the name of the sister, too, though. I don't think you're it? entirely off. I don't know. Jamie Spears in recent months told reporters but that the two are now... that's extremely bizarre. ...speaking to each other once again, following a rough patch in a relationship. September 2019, Federline obtained a restraining order against Jamie <laughs> after the Spears family patriarch allegedly abused his grandson, Sean Preston, who the former backup dancer shares with Brittany. So, okay, so now he's totally cool with the So these the two abuse. are okay now. Everything's better. He apologized or whatever. And we're such bang-up parents. We should write a book. I don't know. That's why it's the weird news. The That's extremely bizarre. Sounds very bizarre. And I, you know what? Maybe I'll read the book and go, wow, those guys have great insight. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm just saying. I said maybe I'll read the book. I never said I would. Probably not. Most I likely doubt not. It. Definitely not. Weird news. <laughs> brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. This year's most mispronounced words. Well, everything I say. Frazier. Yeah. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Brendan Fraser. We've been saying Brendan Fraser all these times. How about Adele? No, it's Adele. Yeah. Adele, not Adele. Really? Yeah. Eden Burr instead of Eden Burra. Scotland. Okay. Um, how about uh, Damal Gleason is Donal Gleason. I don't even know what the first, what the... I have he no idea. He was in the Harry Potter means. series okay. and also in Pe- Peaky Blinders. Um, how about uh, do, 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 do Negroni Spalato? <laughs> I have Alco- no idea. What it's an alcoholic this stuff beverage is. that was in the okay. House of Dragon. More t- uh, anyway, apparently we're saying that wrong. And uh, Novak Djokovic, tennis star from Australia, and oh. apparently everybody says the name wrong. And, oh my goodness, how am I going to get this one right? Tu inning mahu nuli polu tang o valola. I'm pretty sure you nailed Miami it. Miami Dolphin quarterback. <laughs> I'll bet they got it close. 
And we're done. You can read the whole thing. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At bettercreditcards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Mae West. She had so many fun things, like this one. Love conquers all things, except poverty and toothache. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Although every once in a while I think love could conquer a toothache. I had a toothache once, and my wife over here, she loved me so much that it just went away. It melted away. I don't believe that that was a thing at all. I think that's exactly what happened. And if not, (laughs) I made up a nice story for you, so just take it. (laughs) Ridiculous. <sighs> Something like that. All right, that is the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com, and I love this story. Here's a headline. I got my family back. A cat and a woman reunite in a multi-state miracle. So a woman has been reunited with her kitty cat who got lost during a cross-country road trip. Good Samaritans and social media help bring the two back together. There's a photo of her hugging this cat, and she looks so happy. The cat just kind of looks like a cat. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, the, you know it, how hard I work to get away? <laughs> Jamie McCall was moving from Florida to Michigan when her beloved cat, Tucker, got out of her hotel room in Cleveland, Tennessee. Tucker got out of the room and ran across the highway. It's a four-lane highway. I didn't even know it until it was, he was gone. I came back from the Waffle House. No Tucker. After much loss, she said her cat means the world to her, by the way. She said, I just lost my husband a couple of years ago to Aww. cancer. And then oh. my son was murdered at age 21. Oh, my then gosh. I lose my friend on a motorcycle, and my dad died. He said my brother died of a heart attack. I've had all that going on, and this cat was my husband's companion cat. She spent hours searching for this cat. No luck. She finally had to move on. She made oh it to Michigan. Oh, my gosh. When she got there, she was just devastated. She said, I was so distraught about this. I contacted my friend Amanda and I asked her, well, what do you think I could do? Would it be worth looking at shelters in Cleveland, Tennessee? She said, well, I don't know. Let's put it on Facebook. McCall said she made a Facebook post. About a week later, she connected with a woman named Holly Lee who found the cat and had been caring for it. Lee said she and McCall were in contact for about six weeks and then they arranged for her grandfather, who was a truck driver, to bring the cat wow. to Michigan. How cool is that? I'm so glad with everything else she had been She's through. Had some I'm so stuff, glad man. that that turned out the way it did. Me too. Reminds me of your aunt. Yes. Heidi has an aunt who's gone through just, it's just th- not all of those things exactly like that, but just so many things. And she, she's like the toughest lady I know and one of the greatest people I know. So I love that this story had a happy ending. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show.